Hey everyone, it's Apache here and welcome back to another episode of Modded Mega Aquarium, the brutal campaign mode. Thank you very much for joining me today and continuing to show your support for the series. If you do enjoy this episode, please leave a like and a comment, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. So between episodes, I haven't really done a huge amount, to be honest, I've just let it run on. Um, I've added a couple of these t-shirt stands around, a couple of the self-serve froyos, and a couple of the massage chairs. Uh, and it's meant we, we have actually got a decent amount of money rolling in now. We're up to, say, between 1,400 and 2,000 per day coming in, something around there. And it's meant that, yeah, I've managed to, to gather up this amount here. So today I want to carry on immediately, straight on with these tanks over here. And in this tank here, this was going to be the one we were going to add the seahorses and sea dragons to. And then I'm, I've been having a little think about what we want to do over here. So this is the last one of the cold water tanks. And then we're on to all of the hot water tanks. And I thought that it would be nice to have um, something like a load of eels in this one. Um, it's one thing I did want to do is actually have, have one of each of the different types of eel because we've got a lot of them. If we have a look in here, we can go for eels and yeah we have six different types of eel and I think the only one we wouldn't be able to have in here is the Mediterranean moray eel and I believe we've got 28, uh, 50, 74 Oh, okay, so we couldn't have the Zebra Moray Eel. So we could have these four, I think. That's 28, 48, 50, 74. Yeah, that'll be 84, 94. And then this one wouldn't quite fit in. So we'd have four different eels in there. They can all live together. So let's um, pause the game here and we'll start adding stuff in. So the first one is the seahorses and sea dragons. We have uh, what, two different types that can fit into this. We have a big bellied seahorse and a weedy sea dragon. But if we come to here, uh, we can actually grab this quest here. We need four sea bellied seahorse, four eelgrass, and then water quality and chilling. Okay, we'll grab that. So we've got it up here now. And then we want this one here. So if we make this look a bit pretty, there's some seagrass, we'll have that coming down, connecting to the one there. And then one on that side as well, just there. We'll have some more of this kelp in to make it um, continuous with this. And then we'll put these in, um, so we can actually have, say, four of each, but do we want four of each? We're definitely going to need four of these. These actually take li Libertimia, uh, so I, I, I think we should be okay. So, one, two, three, and four. There's that quest completed. And then one, two, three, and four. Okay, can these not live together? Oh, is it just because of this? Right, okay, that's, that's fine. Um, we'll put the rest of the vegetation in and see if it is. So we'll have some of that. And then we'll open this up just like this and we'll open this one up as well because we know we're going to use that one and so now what could, what do we need we need still four vegetation so put a couple more eelgrass in like that there we go and now just four of the so we'll go for the librox Put a medium live rock in just there, and that sorted that out. These are now fine. Um, and let's have a look at some decor. See if there's anything we want. I think that. Hmm, let's see. Now, this Easter Island head might actually be quite nice in this tank with the eels. So we'll put one of those in there. 
But in here, I think even maybe just a shell and a conch would be okay for that. And we need... <clears throat> wow, what happened to my voice then? And we need some live Artemia. So we will get a live, live Artemia. We'll place that there for now. And we've got zooplankton here, so that's okay. Um, and yeah, the next one we want is the eels. So we'll go for eels. We want a banana mori eel. We want a green mori eel. We want a Japanese dragon eel. And we want a honeycomb mori. And so these are going to need 19 cave and 2 rock. So let's have a look what we can do there. 19 cave and 2 rock. Wow, okay. Uh, so we'll get some live rocks. Just down at the front there. We've got the Easter Island head in. 19 cave. Right. So we could do... Like a pitted column with kelp. And... An overhang. Something along those lines. So we put that on there. And the overhang goes... Uh, ideally it would want to go somewhere at the back there. So if we grab this tank, we will move that head down a bit. To there. And then this one we will want at the back, about there. We've got all four of these in. Yep, that's fine. And uh, we're okay with that. So I think the next thing we want is, we've got the kelp in. So if we have just a little bit of the eel, no, egg rack I think, maybe. And ideally that would go somewhere there. Hmm. So instead, let's get some more of this fan water in. I'm going to put one over here just to bring continue the, uh, the theme of it all. We've got some in here, we've got a little bit in here, and now we've got some in here as well. I think this is going to be some eel grass just at the back of there. Again, just to make it not look like lots of different tanks that have been shoved together but to have some continuation all the way through these, like that. And in that case, I'm going to actually put some at the back just there as well, so that we can continue it through into this tank. And I think in this tank, I want some sharks, probably. So go on, two, three, four, and five. Get rid of those. So in here, <clears throat> we could get. Let, let's have a look what type of sharks we have. So we've got the pajama cat sharks in already. Um, can't use the leopard sharks. Maybe zebra sharks. So we could actually have a tank full of baby zebra sharks. Quite like that idea. And then we also have this. Um, Wobbegong Shark, which could actually go in the same tank. So if we had one of these, and how many of these? Four, that'll be 48. Hmm, yeah, okay. One, two, three and four and that should be enough for that one we do need a bit more filtration in this actually now so this is on the hot water network we've already got a decent amount of stuff on there so I'll put another one of these <clears throat> actually can we put a nitrate filter on there now so no a UV come into here because we have this UV no okay that's definitely not I think we're going to have to try and do it a little bit passively with some rocks. So try as I may, I cannot get this water quality up to 90 at the moment. I think we're going to need the larger 
UV sterilizers here to be able to do that. So we're going to have to take out these baby sharks. It's a bit of a shame. Uh, the baby zebra shark do 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 are going to have to go. So do 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 do. And we'll put another one of these Wobbegong sharks in. It's about to be 88 size in there. That'll be fine. So, yes, we've got that now. And it also means that we could actually put a crab dispenser in here. Because I'm not going to need any of this anymore. Which will be good. Uh, so, yeah, I could actually put in one of these auto feeders. Just there and have this dispensing crab which is going to be really good because it means that I won't have to really look after these sharks too much and it's nice because we're right next to the seahorses as well so we'll have these tiny little seahorses swimming around with these giant big sharks here as well so I've got what four more tanks to look at here I need to have a look through the animals lists and see what I want to put into these I, I believe one of them is going to be lionfish because we don't actually have any lionfish or scorpion fish in this aquarium yet. So we're going to fill one up with lionfish and scorpion fish, but the rest of them I need to have a look at. So join me back in a minute and we will fix this lot up here. So I think I've decided what we're going to do in these. This tank here is going to be with the... I'm going to fill the demoiselle pack uh, in with this. There's a, there's a whole category here of modded fish in the demoiselle pack and I, we can put well we could actually put up to four of each of these every single one of them into this tank but i think i'm only going to put two i'm only going to half fill it i don't want to like really worry my stuff too much especially with this much money left i can't afford two of these auto feeders uh, so once we get enough money for those two auto feeders then we'll like fill this up properly but I think we'll just go through with this I like it because these are like size two fish right next to the giant big uh, sharks and these sharks are going to grow as well so I think we'll go one two and we'll just go through this oh, typical need to if I come to here and say dem was all how do you spell it like that okay you can't do it like that and you only get typical you only get some of them if you do it like that because some of them are actually classed as damsels and I know there are more damsels and demoiselles up the top uh, but I think it'll, I just want to put these ones in it because these are the ones specifically within this demoiselle pack Put two of those, the Canary Demoiselles, and then we have Sinclair's Demoiselle, and then Springer's Demoiselle, we have Arnaz's Damselfish, we have the Grey Demoiselle, we have South Sea's Devil, we have the Imitator Damsel. We have the Tahitan Reef Damsel. And we have the Sulphur Damsel. So all of those should be absolutely fine in there. As you can see, we are only on 48 out of 100. So we could actually double the amount of things in here. Uh, but I think that would be getting a little bit too much for uh, the uh, feeding and stuff in there. So, I mean, we already need a decent amount. 4, 8, 16, 24, 28. Actually, 28. That's not a huge amount, is it? Hmm, huh, okay. So we will see uh, what this is like anyway. Um, and then in this tank here, we're going to want the lionfish and scorpion fish. Now, if I remember right, we do actually have, yes, we have a leaf scorpion fish in here. This is quite expensive, but there's three of them. So we'll get these. Or we may end up selling one of these off. But for now, we will place those into this tank here. And also down here, we'll get rid of that. We have, if I remember right, yes, I did see a lionfish. So we have Voltaine's lionfish. Um, and this will be fine 
with them. There's two of these. So again, if we grab these two out, we can put those into this tank here. So just make sure these are okay. Yep, all they're missing is the, uh, the actual decorations. And then in here, we actually have two more different types of lionfish. So we have the fuzzy dwarf lionfish and we have the clearfin lionfish. Now this one cannot be housed with any non-lionfish and scorpionfish, so that will be okay. And this one doesn't actually have any of that uh, restriction. Um, and so we can put, say, two of those in and two of these in. And that will be fine for that. So now in here, we're going to want 22 cave in total. So if we, I might actually end up putting one of those, these clear drop off ones in. And that will just solve everything there. Apart from filtration. Okay, so we might actually be able to get that just with one single UV steriliser. We put that there. Then yep, that does look like it has done it. So now I want to uh, decorate these two. But I think I'll do, I'll put the fish in and then I'll decorate this off camera. So in here, this is going to be a bit more difficult because these two tanks, I actually want to put lights on. And the lights may end up being a bit too expensive. Um, on a sit well, 6,000 is actually going to take, yeah, it's going to take everything we have. So I'll put the lights on. I will bring this wall back to there. We'll press play. Actually, no, not just yet, because I want at least something in here to stop people complaining. So if I put that there and then bring it across like that, then it's partially in this tank and then partially in this tank. That's just going to stop people from complaining about it being a lifeless tank or a, a kind of um, boring tank. Uh, but now we can actually let the game run on for a bit, get a bit more money. Um, I will decorate these tanks and make sure I know what I want to put into these. As you can see, need to let it run for a bit to be able to gather up some more money. So I've just been letting this game run on for a while and I've just got up to rank 11. Which is really good because I am in desperate need of some new filtration stuff. Uh, things like, oh, this mega, sorry, the uber nitrate reactor would be incredible if it's not too expensive. I actually think this is about 125,000. So it is pretty expensive. Uh, we will be able to get up there and I am also thinking towards the end of this game because we're gonna need some of this really expensive stuff. I might loan myself some money. Um, I haven't done so far, I've just been letting it run. But we are up to day like nearly 900 uh, just because I've had to let the game run for so long. Um, but we do have like the large UV steriliser and the mega nitrate reactor, so we may need to may be able to do something with these two uh, in the interim. Um, but yeah, we've got a lot of new stuff now, which is brilliant. Uh, so not a huge amount in terms of new fish or new animals. Um, not a huge amount at all, to be honest. But we do have some of the octopus. That'll be nice. So let's go. Let's get the Mega Nitrate Reactor first, I think. Or should we go straight for the Uber? Get that out of the way. And we'll see just how prohibitive that is. Let's have a look up here. We want some shoulders. Uh, okay. We can probably do this. Um, I believe all of this is hot water. Reward base prestige plus 600. That would be really useful anyway. So we're going to grab that and we're going to say yes. Apparently we don't have any of it, so we'll have to uh, go through the list. Um, bonnet sharks. Bonnet head sharks. Do we want these? We, they need to be in a shoulder of three. They are fairly small. They do need a rounded tank. We'll have a look at these later on. Um, a lot later on, to be honest. Uh, and then, yes, that's been done. So let's have a look at rank 11 stuff. Okay, there is a, a decent amount of stuff to unlock in here. Um, I think, first of all, I want to go for 
Let's see. The um, I'm tempted to go for this octopus. Does need a rounded tank though, so that's a bit restrictive. And it eats animals up to size eight, so it's even more restrictive. And it can oh, it needs to be housed on its own. Okay, so we can actually make a separate little tank for this, um, which needs to be at least size twenty. That should be easy enough. Um, I think I'll probably use one of those three by three rounded tanks for this. We'll have that just in there as a little side project up on the side somewhere. Um, and then we, I think, yeah, first of all, I'm going to go for the coral because I'm trying to get all of the corals I can for these two tanks here. Uh, and what else do I want to do now? So yeah, as, as you can see, I've put some decorations into these two tanks. Looks a little bit bare in the corner, but I'm going to add some of the uh, eelgrass along there. like oh i can't do that way so i'd have to do it there like that okay and so that'll bring it into this tank so in these two tanks i don't have a huge amount of money i've got a little bit to be getting on with though uh probably enough to open these up at least get at least something in them, in each of them uh, and then we can just drop this barrier i'm going to try and keep the game running for as much as we can whilst i'm doing this uh, but I've just realised something. This could really be done with moving over by one so I can drop a, at least one of the auto feeders into this when we need them. When we can, can get to them. Or I could bring this over to... Uh, no I couldn't. I'd actually have to do something like that. Which that, I think that'll be okay actually. We could actually put one on either side of that. So in here, I want to put some of the corals and stuff. Uh, so I think if I put light, this will give me everything which doesn't want light. It'll give me all the lights. We've already got large lights in there. Um, but it should also give me the stuff that needs light. Yes, OK. So if I put needs light, then yeah this is all the stuff that does need light and one thing I do want to add into these is these coral columns and coral overhangs here uh, so I'm gonna start with these they need zooplankton so we do have zooplankton over here so that should be okay so if we said we want one of those in this tank ooh okay that pushes this right over. Uh, so what I might be worth, what might be worth doing, is cancelling that for now, waiting until these nitrate reactors have been completed research, and then we'll come back to those. So in the meantime, what doesn't need 90, because they're too difficult. Um, the medium rock coral should be a bit better if we bring that down closer to the front something actually right down the front yep that's okay um but oh okay these are actually not scavengers right there's the uber nitrate reactor next we want to get the mega nitrate reactor um because that'll be a bit easier to add in because this uber nitrate reactor Costs 121,000. We'll get there eventually, I'm sure. But for now, definitely not. Uh, so yeah, that's okay. That means we could actually open up this tank. Just like that. And they'll be able to come and view these. Um, so now we want... Uh, oh, come back into here because we want these small corals as well and we'll get the purple plume fan uh, so in here we've got these three to add in uh, and then oh yeah I'm not going to do these just yet so if we add one there um, then we want 
let's have a look. This one in this tank, and then this one also in this tank there. And that actually means we can open up this tank as well. Apart from, you can see we just got a little bit there of the negative prestige, uh, because it doesn't actually have any decoration in it. Uh, so we'll add some of that into the corner there, and across like that. Uh, now we are missing a bit of filtration in this, and in the coal. Oh no, this is this is warm water. Okay, so we want to have more filters <laughs> on this, um, and I think yeah, let's have a look at the um, the large filters first. I think for now I'm going to add them in like that, give us a little bit of redundancy until this has been done and then we'll change a few of these over for, for the, for the uh, large ones. Um, so we've got these open now, they're okay. These don't need any other animals in with them which is... Do you still think this is a bit lifeless? Doesn't show you there. So let's have a look. Oh, I think the game's just crashed. So yes, that did actually make my game crash to the desktop. Um, as soon as I click this, I've tried it again as well, uh, just to make sure it was that. As soon as I click this, then it crashes, which I think means that something uh, in the mods that kicks in at rank 12 um, is playing with the game a bit and I think that means that once we hit rank 12, the game will just start crashing to desktop all the time. So between episodes, I am going to do a bit of troubleshooting on all the different mods that I have uh, in a sandbox world and just make sure they're all okay um, and try and pinpoint which mod is the culprit. Um, we can actually do a bit more in today's episode though, just at the end here. Um, because we're not going to get up to rank 12 for a while. It means that I'm definitely not going to do this um, this quest though, because that will be close to kicking us over into rank 12 once everything else kicks in as well. So in uh, these tanks here, we wanted to... Oh yeah, because I can't do this, I can't look at the guest forts. So I think these were getting a bit of negative prestige because the uh, tanks are a little bit lifeless because we don't have any actual animals in there. Um, I'm happy with that for now, especially because we don't actually want all of the prestige in the world at the moment. We just want to make these look pretty, we want to get them opened and that kind of thing. So um, we need, what do we need? We need to get uh, more of these stuff in here like we don't want the 90% ones, but we have um, a bubble tip anemone and this frilled anemone. So we'll put this one on this side and the frilled anemone will go into this tank. It's quite nice because, oh, hang on, nope, didn't see that properly, that is a cold water one. Yep. <laughs> and it's quite nice because we can just switch between the tanks and make them both look pretty at the same time. Um, again, don't want to add the clams in at the moment until we've got this done. Uh, we have uh, something which needs the bigger lights, the mega lights here, so we can't add that in just yet. Uh, this staghorn coral though can go in, so we'll add that in there, and um, that's okay. Um, but are we looking at now, are, are these the scavengers? No, they're not. They are still just the zooplankton ones. And we're, we're nearly getting up to a stage where we can add another um, thing onto here, another um, auto feeder. So we'll speed up the game a bit here. We can add in, it would be nice to add in fish that need zooplankton. So we will have a look at that. Uh, this one is okay, just needs 10 light. So we'll add that at the back there. And then we have disco mushrooms. They look fine as well. So 
So we'll add those in there. We have plate coral, which can go there. And what else do we have? Anything else? Everything else looks like it's going to be just either cold water or a bit too hard to actually manage just yet. Although we are just about to get this nitrate reactor. So uh, once we've got this, then we can add these in. But for now, that's okay. Let's have a look then for zooplankton. Uh, we can just put it like that. So we could add... No, because these need... Um, the, some skill required to actually feed those. Mega nitrate reactor. Okay. That's good. I think I'm going to go for the large UV sterilizer next as well. We're going to pause the game just for a minute here. We're going to take all of these out actually. And we're going to see what we can do with this. So if I move that onto there, it will create a little bit more area where we can work because we want one of these mega nitrate reactors there, one of them there and one of them there. Now that has actually got us up to 85 already. If I stick another one here, that is, uh, what is that, two, these are 220 each. So that is 880 now we've got, and we have um, 900 each on those. So that should be a bit better. And we can add in a couple more of these UV sterilizers around, say so one there, one there. I want to keep this area free for a auto feeder. But now I don't know exactly how far that has got us up the chain. We can test that out though by adding in one of these ones that needs light. If we scroll down, we have one of these coral overhangs. Now I've actually run out of space for a couple of these now. So in this tank here I want to move the disco mushrooms that's not the disco mushrooms the disco mushrooms i want to move those down to the front there to give us some space here where we can put in one of these coral columns and now we'll be able to see we're on 87 so we're still not there so i still can't put them in which is a shame, so we'll get rid of the coral column, because I really do want those, the coral column and the coral overhang into these. We're also looking at zooplankton, anything which eats zooplankton, uh, but it doesn't require skill. Now that's going to be the difficult part of this, because this isn't a chrysal tank, so we can't add those in. And it looks like there's nothing that I can add in here that actually um, eat zooplankton. I suppose these would be the best to add in because although they do require skill they are eating the same type of food. So for now I'm going to put two of those in each tank uh, and that will stop the negative moodlets from all of that. Um, and we may want to swap those over once we actually get some auto feeders in here. Uh, make it a little bit easier for our staff but I think that'll be okay for now and so yeah of course I picked the fish that actually eat the stony corals that I've just added in here <laughs> right so I've taken those fish out and we're not going to add them in I'm just going to live with negative prestige for now because I want to try and keep this down a little bit anyway uh, between episodes I am going to do a bit of troubleshooting try and work out which mod is which uh, see if any need updating as well so I haven't updated them for a while. And yeah, and ho hopefully next episode we will get past all of that. So yeah, thank you very much for joining me today. If you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like, comment and subscribe on the video and to the channel. And I will. See you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting me by subscribing to the channel and liking and commenting on the videos. Thanks. See you next time.